again, I keep seeing that question, and, and like you say, there's a lot of concern about it, but at the moment we know that there is no evidence that COVID-19 is passed on through food. The highest risk is somebody coughing or sneezing the you, so that's why we've got the biggest focus, as Sterling said, on making sure that people wash their hands, they're not coming to work if they have got a cough or a fever. making sure that we've got all those processes in place. And I think the good thing about the food industry, and especially fresh produce supplying into retail, is we already had hygiene policies and procedures in place. A lot of different things. So I work with growers, I work with food manufacturers, essentially about helping them make safe food. So making sure the standards that they're growing their produce to, packing it to, or if they're doing any further processing, meet the standards that they should do. I also look at nutrition with people, so if they want to look at their menus and try and make sure that they've got reasonable amounts of fat, salt, sugar, at a level that's acceptable from a taste and enjoyment point of view. Hi, my name's Barbara, I'm based in Manchester. And the reason I've come on this particular tour is because I'm preparing to give or to deliver a TEDx talk at the University of Chester at the end of February. And I thought this would be the best way to prepare and launch my speaking career at the same time. It's all about diversity. So I'm choosing the topic diet diversity in the future of food. Definitely, it's something since I finished my research project I've been asked to do more and more of from different groups. So universities asking about motivational speakers, They've got 20 years experience, they want to show students that you know you can find a path once you've graduated that's both fulfilling and you know, pays your mortgage. And then um, industry also to hear my insights on food and nutrition. Things like as simple as food waste, so where's the, the low-hanging fruit in their system? So there's really sort of waste stream activities that can be reused in a different part of the food industry or that can be sent to charity like Fair Share, for example, and used as that stream so that it's not complete waste. Looking at really putting their money where their mouth is and getting accreditation, so registering with an organisation like B Corporation.